what's happening should play a part in Dom with a spook. Tapping in with y'all. Just left the gym. Got a little cardio in. Shadow box on my way to vest on. Um. That man staring at me like he seen a ghost. You know? Damn, I'm sorry to get out of my face. But, uh, shadow box. Did some 21s on the bench press. And then I did dips. Put my weighted vest down. Took the weighted vest off. Depending what this video about, I just wanted to show out real quick. But, uh,. <laughs> Uh, hey man, stay on your stay on your grind, man. Stay on retention, dog. Stay on retention, dog. I'ma always say this, man. Keep your power. These women don't care about you. They only care how you make them feel. These women out here catching bodies, boy. Bodies on bodies on bodies, bro on bodies these women don't know celibacy man if you find you a woman that's on that's that celibate bro you hey i'm talking about actually celibate not just saying i ain't had sex in in, in two weeks but she's still playing with her her cooter cat or oh, she's still you know man take it from me bro she gonna waste your time bro she gonna waste your time and energy and once you have sex with that woman, you take on her karma, you take on all of her bodies that she already got attached to her soul. She could be having new body. You know it's hot outside. It's sundress season. These women out here partying, going to pool parties, getting drunk, getting sloppy drunk off pills, you know, off all kind of drugs, mushrooms, um, molly, ecstasy, all of that. And, and, and catching bodies left and right, bro. Catching bodies. I'm talking about bodies on bodies. And, and, and they not they not cleaning out their soul ties. They not doing the shadow work to clean out their soul ties. So every time us retain men go and, you know, have sex with a woman, we take on all her bad karma. We take on, uh, we take on all her soul ties. All her uh, trauma bondage, everything, everything we take on, all that. When we was just at peace, we was at one. We was one with the world, one with the universe. We was getting respect everywhere we go. We had good luck everywhere we went. Everything, every everything seemed to be going our way because it was and God was respect was respecting what we was doing, was loving what we was doing, and so He started rewarding us. And then, boom! Soon as you, soon as you get weak, that one moment. You get the big head, you got the woman staring at you and stuff, cause they really just looking at your your glow, your your grind, your ambition, and that's what they attracted to. They not gonna be attracted to you once you bust that nut. Then then they on to the next. It take a real woman to stay down with you after you when you, when you go back to day one, bro. A real one. But even 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 when you go back to day one and she still stay down, bro, she's still not gonna be as attracted to you as she was when or as submissive to you. She gonna, she gonna try even more. The test gonna come even more because that's God punishing you once you, you wasn't supposed to. You was you supposed to pass that test. And trust me, it's gonna be a lot of tests and distractions coming your way, dog. Pass the test, man. Stay grinding. Stay on your grind, bro. Stay on your purpose, man. Respect over sex. Keep your power. These women not worth it, bro. They catching bodies, bro. I'm, trying, I'm gonna keep on re reiterating that, bro, because I see it. I see it already, bro. Like for real, bro. Like it's not worth it, man. Ain't that what everybody say? Every time a retainer get online and say, "Man, I just relapsed, man." What they say after that? It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm trying to tell you, it's not worth it, bro. It's not. Okay, how many stairs you get? Okay, well, whoop bro. Look, I was get. I literally had five baddies behind me bro five baddies behind me while i was hitting the bag bro eyeing me down 
Then I had three three baddies in front of me on the um, machine where you hump the hump the air, basically. I forget what it's called, but she was humping the air. And the other two, she had tattoos all down the leg. And I ain't gonna lie, she was bad. Shawty was bad like a motherfucker. I was trying to ignore her, but I could. I'm like, damn, bitch, you bad. <laughs> Then you eye me down, I'm like, God damn. But I still had to stay focused and, and shuttle box and shit. I'm like, God damn, these bitches bad. <laughs> but you gotta stay focused, man. <laughs> oh shit. Hey. But you you just use that for motivation, man. Like when you get the stairs and shit, because I was just getting stared at by the whole goddamn gym, bro. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Then I got this weighted vest on, I'm at Bo, you know. It was just, I just use it for motivation, man. I don't really get the big head too much. I just grind it. I remember what I'm doing it for, you know. I'm doing it, I'm doing this for spiritual. Like, what I heard, what happens once you get to like that six months of one year mark and beyond, I'm trying to experience that. Like, woman attraction and, and sex and, and, and all of that. That's the lower levels of retention, bro. That's one big ass distraction, bro. That's the lower level, I'm telling you, bro. When you get to that high level, when you get to your crown chakra and you ascend to the spiritual masters, bro, the ascended masters, the guardian angels and light beings and stuff, I'm trying to get to that level. Fuck the, I already done experience making a bitch come on my dick, bro. I know what that feel like. I'm not giving a fuck about that. I'm trying to see the spiritual benefits, like the real spiritual benefits. Cause I already done heard about the 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 monetary gains I already experienced the benefits of woman attraction uh you know um, um manifestations and you know telekinesis powers and all of that i'm trying to see above and beyond for real for real i'm trying to really experience this shit so you know i'm doing this for spiritual liberation i'm going and i will do it i will do it so all right now i'm just enjoying the moment right now and i'm praying you know, I'm putting my positive affirmations out there. I'm enjoying the time I'm spending with my son. Like, it, it warms my heart, it warms my soul every time I get home from work. And the first thing I see is my son, He's he got a big ass smile and he runs to me and just hug me. And then get the dancing and shit. Like, I, I live for those moments. I don't, like, it makes it all worth it. Me grinding and just looking at him like, he another, he another thing I think about like when I'm grinding, at work or grinding in the gym and stuff i just think like in the back of my mind i'm like bro your son is gonna be looking at you one day in the gym just like how you was looking at your dad when he was going crazy in the gym lifting all this heavy ass weight you just looking at him like man i gotta get in the gym he gonna be looking at you like that your son gonna be looking at you like all right son all right, right pops what's next so you got to be that leading example so i ain't gonna stop this man i ain't gonna stop this i'm gonna keep on going but uh, yeah, man, y'all keep y'all power. It's not worth it, for real. These women out here catching bodies, creating spiritual uh, ties. They not caring, you know. I'm, I'm gonna leave y'all with this, man. Women can be careless, kids can be careless, but man, we cannot be careless, bro. We can't be careless with our meat, our money, energy, attention, our time, bro. We can't be careless with that, bro. Our consequences are much more heavier than the women, bro. We take on a bad karma. I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna give y'all a prime example, bro. Remember when I was on that three month streak, right? I was on a three month streak, glowing hard as fuck. I had all the power in the world, bro. I, I felt so damn powerful, energetic, all that, right? Soon as I had sex and released my seed, bro, I lost my job. It was hard to get a job after that. Motherfucking, I started getting treated by my baby mama. All kind of shit. I'm talking about it, everything went right down the drain, bro. And I'm just, and the whole time I'm thinking to myself like, damn, I shouldn't have released just now. I shouldn't have released. That's the whole time I was thinking like, damn, I shouldn't have released. <laughs> I was so butt hurt, bro. I was so fucking bad. I'm like, damn, yeah, bro, you should have released. So I, I, I'm for sure just gonna leave y'all with that, man. You take on her bad karma. And she lost her job too. Not to put nobody business out there, but it, you can just see where I'm going at it with. Like, you take on her bad karma, you take on everybody's shit, bro. So just stay on your motherfucking job, bro. For real. Stay on your grind, grind hard. And um, yeah, man.
keep God first, keep your power, man. My name is Dombo the Spook. I'm signing out with y'all. Finna head to work. Knock this shift out and then go back to the gym, get some work in, and go back to my son. Repeat. Peace.